Hi friends, welcome to Airdrop Spot. In today's video, we are going to be interacting with Agent Layer Testnet. Agent Layer acts as a marketplace for sharing Ethereum security. In Agent Layer, you can restake your ETH while also providing security as a service. So this is how we go about it. We are going to be visiting goelifoset.com to claim some test Goeli ETH. Remember that to use goelifoset.com, you need to have at least 0.001 ETH on your wallet address to prove that you are not a bot so once you've gotten that fixed claim your test token then let's visit testnet.rocketpool.net Okay, so what we want to do here is we want to stake Gweli ETH and then in return, this is called liquid staking, in return we are going to get our ETH, rocket pool ETH. So make sure that that toggle switch is turned on, then tap on stake, indicate the amount of Gweli ETH that you want to stake and then tap on stake button. So I want to stake uh, 1.5 Gweli ETH, 1.2, then I'll tap on the stake button. So you can see, if I stake uh, 1.2 Gweli ETH, I'm going to get 1.17 uh, RETH. However, the staking pool is filled up. It, it has room for 0.00 ETH, so I cannot stake. However, there's another way to get RETH, and that is to use Uniswap. And then we are going to be swapping some Gweli ETH for RETH. So here we are on Uniswap. First thing, you are going to connect to your wallet. Now after successfully connecting your wallet, you want to tap on that circle by the far right and then you're going to tap on that settings icon as well. Then you'll see show testnet, make sure that that toggle switch is turned on, like you can see on my screen. Then go back and then tap on that uh, chain icon where you see the Ethereum icon, then choose Gweli because that is what the chain that we are going to be using. So it is going to ask you to switch network to Gweli if you are not on Gweli already. So now I'm going to indicate the amount of Gweli ETH that I want to swap into RETH. So before that, tap on select token and then I'm going to be searching for RETH because I can't find it on the list. So you can see Rocket Pool ETH, tap on that. Tap on I understand. Now indicate the amount of ETH that you want to swap into RETH. So I want to swap 0.05 ETH, Gweli ETH into RETH. Then I'll tap the swap button. Tap on confirm. Now the swapping is successful. Now the next thing we are going to do is you are going to open up another tab and here you are going to paste in the search bar gweli.egenlayer.xyz. Now uh, we could have gotten RETH by staking Gweli ETH on Rocket Pool but since the pool is filled up, we had to do swap. So whichever way that you use to get your own RETH, what you need for this testnet is to get RETH which we have already gotten in Uniswap. Now connect your wallet to Egenlayer. Then tap on Restake your tokens. Now keep scrolling until you see Rocket Pool ETH. So this is it here, Rocket Pool ETH. Then tap on Manage Stake. Now you can see in my balance I have 0.005 RETH that I can restake on Agent Layer. So I'm going to tap on max and I'm going to tap on deposit. You can see that I currently have 0.00 RETH staked, then tap on deposit.
adjust your custom spending cap. Tap on next and tap on approve. Now uh, you tap on deposit. Then tap on confirm. So you can see I now have $14 worth of RATH restaked on agently. I can see that that has changed at the top of my screen. Now if you check my balance, you'd see that I don't have any other RATH at the moment because I have staked everything. Now if you want to unstake, you just switch to the unstake tab. Then you can indicate the amount of RATH that you want to unstake from the staking pool. However, I won't be doing any unstaking, so I'll just leave it at that. So that is the end of today's video. Now do note that agent layer is taking and also even a rocket pool, they are both available on mainnet and on mainnet you can stake uh, mainnet ethereum and then get RATH depending on where you are staking your ATH and then restake it on agent layer and there is going to be an airdrop for agent layer mainnet participants, uh, it is said that it will be this year or it may be next year whichever one but there is certainly going to be an airdrop and if this is something that you can afford remember that it is on ethereum mainnet so if this is something that you can afford then by all means go for it if it is not something that you can afford at least do the test net so if there is going to be reward for test net participants then you will be assured that you also get something out of it so that's the end of today's video if you have any questions do let me know in the comment section if you have found value in any of my content make sure to give me a like on this video and also subscribe to my channel so every link i used will be pinned in the comment section for your convenience and if you would like to participate in the agent layer main net restaking i'll also leave the link in the comment section and if you have any question on that as well just let me know so that i can guide you thanks for watching and i'll see you in another tutorial